Zell. Z. Please hurry up. I'm running late. Let's go. Hurry, Zill, please. What are you doing? Good morning. Good morning, my good morning. How are you? I'm good. I was just trying to, you know, take out, um, clean the dishes, so that's why I took time. Oh, okay, that's fine. Let's Ooh, go. Oh, you look gorgeous. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the occasion? So, mommy's having a board meeting with some international clients, and I have to look the parts, you know, I have to represent. Oh, wow. <laughs> I trust you. Yes. Sorry. When I grow up, I'm going to be like you. Oh, My yes. I could. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? You're going to be much more better mm. and do more exploits than mommy. Yes. Oh, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, I hope I'm not no, we are not I'm, I'm sorry, she, she's not aware of what transpired between us months ago. And I lied to her. I told her that I was here to surprise you, and she bought it. Because she didn't know. P please, just um, let this one sleep. Yeah. Now, see, you know I'm not going to accept it. Nelson, I... How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I... I wish I can answer that. Well, I, I, I came in last night and uh, I said, why don't I just bomb in and say hello? I mean, we had a failed relationship. Doesn't mean we can do business. Look. Olivia, I am here on a professional level. You are good at what you do. As a matter of fact, the very best I know. So I want us to do business. I don't want to lose that because of emotions. Why don't we talk business this evening? Let's talk business over dinner. I promise it is strictly business. Nothing shut of that. Peace. All right then, I, I'll call you. Have a wonderful day. Finished it and I want to work on my assignment now. Oh, that's great. Listen, baby, I have an engagement that may leave me coming home a bit late today. In case it goes too late, please go to bed and don't wait up for me, okay? Oh, okay, mom. Take care of yourself. All right, honey, I will. You too. Love you too. Mwah. I think I like this one. Mm -hmm. I think I prefer this one. This one is more 
Mm. This is what you prefer, right? No, the other one, the white and green. This one? That's really mature. Ah. Uh, Are you sure? Thank you. Yeah, well, if you want this one, let's let's go with it. I don't. I think this is better. Okay. Yeah. So you just ask her to send more. Alright, sure. Yeah. Oh, sure. That is, is, is cool. I mean, it's it's nice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Before I forget, guess who is in town? Guess who called me today? Nelson. I know. He was here at the home and he said something about we meeting up for dinner or so. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh? Wait. So after everything you did to him, he still came here and asked you. See, 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 just just hold it there, please. Please. We're only seeing based on business. That's all. Fine, he brought good deals, very good deals, which I'm grateful for. But that's it. You should know better than cross the line. Can you look at me while you're saying that? Yes, look at me in the eye and tell me you don't miss him. Deny it. Why are you bent on making life so difficult for you and this guy? Why? Are you done? Well, no, I don't miss him. Fine. I miss the moment we shared in the past. But we should have just stick to the rules. The basis of the relationship, that's all. Your selfish rules. Sex and fun. What about him? He wanted more. Well, I can't give him more than that. That's all I can give him. He saw all the warning signs. I wonder why he relapsed. I'm, I'm on it right now. Yeah, you, you see it in the next um, two seconds. Okay, check your email. I've sent it to you. All right. Thank you, Ben. I'm oh, sorry. Just a minute here. You're beautiful. And your beauty radiates every moment. How I wish you can see how much I want to take care of you, how much I want to Can love. you just hold it already? Huh? Okay. <laughs> Why? Is the general manager of a multimillionaire business scared of flattering? No. No, I'm not. I just know where this is headed, so just hold it there. Okay, so you know where this is headed. You know I want this relationship to be permanent. Why? Why are you resisting? This is not the right time to talk about this. Nelson, we are business partners and I'm cool with the way things are between us. So let's just leave it that way, okay? So you are scared? No, I am not scared. You know what? Why don't we talk about how you are going to make my weekend fabulous? Because come Monday, I have a very busy schedule. So, just put on. Um, I need to send this. Okay, done. I'm done. Yes. Why do you have that big smile? <laughs> It's your beauty. Oh, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you, Nelson. We share this love Are you sure? We share this bond. Why can't you tell me what it is then? Oh, you know how much I value my time. And I hate surprises. Fine, I'm on my way coming. I'm on my way, I'm just leaving the house. I'm serious. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.
Olivia, I, 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 I didn't know how I was supposed to go about all of this. But one thing I'm very sure is that I love you. I wouldn't want anything else. I wouldn't want anyone else but you. Would you make me the happiest man alive and say yes to me? What rubbish is this? No, what is the meaning of this nonsense? What sort of embarrassment is this? When did we ever have a discussion pertaining to marriage? Huh? And you, I am disappointed at you. You of all people should know my take on marriage. You know, I... What, what, what is this? Just say, yes. Just say yes what? Why would you, why would you be a part of this? Why, why, why would you do this? And you're busy there telling me, telling me to say yes. What? Olivia, I, I, I was just thinking that, okay, maybe we can work something out and... You're and thinking you're... that, oh, you're, you're, you're thinking what? Huh? That's with your display of stupidity that I would change my mind. I will have a change of mind towards marriage. I warned you, didn't I? I warned you. Why, why won't you just respect that? Why won't you just respect my choice? Huh? I'm sorry. I just no, well, felt... I'm sorry. But I can't marry you. And I want you to stay far away from me. Don't you ever Come close to me. Don't you ever else. You won't like what I'll do to you. Where's my number? What what means this? shouldn't have dated him in the, in the first place. Why wouldn't you date him? Nelson is a very good guy. And he has proven that to you over and over again. Why are you bent on making this guy miserable? And I know that you love him. Well, I can't marry. I don't want a man that will bully me, control me, and dictate my life for me. I will never let that happen ever again in my life. Who did this to you? Who made you develop so much hatred for men? I've been asking you this now for quite some time. You can't continue like this. You need to, you know, you, you need a man. You need someone that guy you can call your I own. have Zetel. I don't need any man. She's the love of my life. She's everything I have in this world. So please, she's alone. So please, she's okay for me. I don't need no Okay, man. how does having Zetel take the place of a man in your life? Is she a man? Can you marry Zetel? Jojo, please. Can we just stop talking about this? Enough. I'm done talking about this, okay? So tell me, how is your husband? When is he visiting Nigeria? Hmm? When are you getting yourself a husband? Really? Do you want to continue with this conversation? Forget about my husband. It's about you now. Auntie, do you want to leave? I'm not leaving. Get a husband. I'll go through it and then I'll revert back to you. I'll revert to you in the morning. Yes. Alright, that, that's fine. 
We'll go through it in the morning when I get to the office. All right then, good night. Okay. Good evening, Mom. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Please. Well, uh, how much do you mean? Do you like money too much? Oh, Jeez, who doesn't like money? And why are you still up? Uh, you know, I couldn't sleep, so I said, let me wait for you. So, how did work go? Uh, work was fine. Okay, that, so that's all. Work was fine. Stressful as usual. Okay. Let me go get you a glass of water. Ah, oh, like you know what I needed. Please. Yes, very chilled one. one. Second. Just make sure you hurry up and then okay. just. Hello? Yes? Now? Oh, alright, alright, just, just calm down. I'll be with you in a jiffy. I'll, I'm coming right now. Just calm down. I'll be with you right now. An emergency? Yes. I need to get back to the hospital right now. See, don't worry, your mommy is fine, okay? Just okay. don't talk. No noise, no questions, nothing. Just let her rest. All she needs now is just rest, okay? Okay, Don't mom. worry, she'll be fine, yeah? Thank you, mom. Just, and make sure you look for something to eat. <laughs> no problem. Promise me you won't stress yourself much. I won't stress myself. Mommy is fine. And before I get to work tomorrow, I'll come around so I can see her. Okay, mom. Yeah. I'll Thank call you before I go to bed, okay? Thank you. Uh -huh. And where did I drop my handbag? Okay, I think in the living room. Bye. I'll be back, okay? Yes, mom. Don't worry, mom. You'll be fine, okay? Problem. Pick this call. Than this. Come on. My clients are waiting. So how was your night? Have you slept well? Yeah, I slept well. All mm. thanks to you. And you? Oh, you know, I slept well. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, have you had some? Mm. Have you had breakfast? Mm, no. Why? No. Nothing. All right, okay. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm watching my weight. Yes, I'm watching my weight. What weight are you watching? I'm watching my weight. <laughs> Thank you so much for this breakfast. You're welcome. 
But you know you need to get ready to go to school, no? Mm, no. I already called the school mommy and told her that I'm not coming. I told her that I'll stay here till you get back to your feet. See? Mm hmm Thank you. You're welcome. You, are, are you sure I'm not the baby and you're the mommy? Of course I'm the mommy. For you're now. Right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> For now, I'm the mommy. So you have to listen to mommy. Yes, mommy. Yes. <laughs> My Thank daughter. You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So enjoy your meal. Sorry I didn't fry egg. Yeah, it's good you didn't fry it because the last time you did it was salty. Yes. <laughs> what? No. Okay. It was very yummy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I've upgraded. Mm. But yes. I've upgraded. Oh, sure, of course you have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Mm. Mm. Too much At least you should be thankful I made it for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the meal. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, I've been meaning to ask. Your sickness, how, how did you get it? How did, I, how did it happen? Am I also going to get it too? Or... No. No, I, I'm sorry, Mom. I, I shouldn't have asked you. No. It's, it's fine. You won't have it. Okay? And I've actually been expecting you to ask me this. I was surprised that it was taking forever for you to ask. It's actually my little secret. But I'll tell you. But you have to promise me something that you keep it as a secret. I promise. <sighs> oh, you're taking me down memory lane. But how can I even forget such? Okay, um... <clears throat> Before you were born, I I used to be married. We were, we were both in love. Everything was going fine until until everything just changed. My ex-husband started losing deals everything was not going smoothly everything was just going rough and he started blaming me for for his downfall that ever since he got married to me i brought bad luck to him he would always maltreat me bully me Hit me. Everything you can ever think of. Then that night. He. He was hitting me. And he took my head and. Slammed it on the staircase. I didn't remember what happened next. I just found myself in the hospital and they said I had a seizure. A seizure that has never left my body since then. A seizure that I will live to have for the rest of my life. 
a seizure I had nothing to do with. A seizure that I wasn't born with. And then since then, I, I have been having attacks from time to time. He ran away, we didn't, we didn't know his whereabouts, we couldn't find him. He will not, he will not have the seizure. Do you know why? Because it's not in our lineage. It's not. It's okay. It's okay. It's embarrassing. It's, it's frustrating because it just comes. I don't even get prepared. I don't I don't even know when it comes. It's, it's really embarrassing. It's okay. <sighs> yeah. It's fine. Okay. I'm sorry I couldn't meet up in the morning, but when I heard you were fine, I was so relieved. Thank God you're okay now. I'm okay, my dear. And all thanks to Zizi. That girl is a blessing sent from above. Do you know she was with me all along? She was just by my side. She, she, she made sure I was okay. She did practically everything. Yeah. Ah, That's she's so such nice. a wonderful girl. She even took my phone to her room and put it on silent mode that she wants me to relax well, that she doesn't want anybody to disturb me. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so nice of her. Isn't she a blessing? Wow. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, Nelson called, though I couldn't take his calls because I was so busy. He said he's been calling you and you are not taking your calls. Why? I know. And you guys have a business, right? Yes, we we're supposed to go for a business meeting together, but... Like I said, Zizi took my phone to her room and she put it on um, silent mode. Um, she didn't know I was going to be needing my phone. I would just, I just talk to him. I just pray I, he didn't, he didn't lose out on the deals. I don't, I don't know. You know, maybe you should just call him and find out if, 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 if. You, you can't lose this. You know, you have to call him. Um, and as for Zizi, I must applaud you for raising her well. You really did a good job. Thank you. <laughs> She's, she did a great job. She's actually a darling. I'm grateful to God for giving me a beautiful daughter like her. Yes. So tell me, how are you? How is I'm your baby? Fine. I'm fine, my sister. Only the heavy baby bump. What about you, Olivia? Look, I know you have Zizi and you consider her someone very important. But I think you need a life partner. You need a man. Someone you can always turn to when you're, you're not okay, you're depressed and you need help. Zizi can't be a man in your life. You need a man. You, you need to rest. You need to stop working in this your condition. Your tummy is too big. I know. This is about you and not me. When do you even plan on getting married? Uh-uh. And say, don't worry, when the time is right, I will invite you, okay? I'm Just serious. wait for me to I'm invite serious. you. I'm serious, I'm serious about this. You, you need to consider that. Mm, I'm sorry, Mom. And where's the key I asked you to come get? Um, I was looking for it when I saw the journal. You know, just go down. I'll meet you. I'm sorry. It's fine. Just go. I'll meet you downstairs.
Why would you do me like this? Why? I'm, I'm sorry, Nelson. I. It wasn't intentional. You got my text, right? I, I, I thought we had time before I got the email. And trust me, I was going to come apologize to you. Apologize for what exactly? I told you how important this was for us. I to you should have just told me you were, you were not interested. That you're still holding grudges over nothing. Is it a crime that I looked past our business relationship and fell for you? Is it a crime that I wanted more? I have been working for that company for years and for not. I've never disappointed them, not even for once. Think I am happy? I lost millions of naira, but not just the money. I lost trust. I lost credibility. Nelson, I... I... I'm sorry. I don't know how to explain this to you. What do you want to explain? Can your explanation fetch anything for me? I called you severally this morning. I even called your friend, Dr. Jojo. But to no avail. Maybe I shouldn't have come back. It's, it's fine. I hope that one day someone will treat you exactly the same way you have treated me so that you will know exactly how hurtful it is. Goodbye. Have a good life. There is no greater love than that of a mother and a child. I will give up the world just to see you smile. Cause your smile brightens my day. You mean the world to me. Cause even with your last breath. You still call me mommy. So what do you think about mommy having a boyfriend or rather a husband again? Mm. Why not? Um, if he's good, 
loving, kind, caring, and would take good care of you. Why not? Someday I'm going to be a grown woman and get married. At least you need someone to take good care of you when I'm not around. At least I'm still around, Sha. <laughs> For now. So, has mommy found someone? Um, not really, uh -huh. but um, mommy is considering someone. Is he a good man? Uh, so far so good. Yes, he is. He's a very good. Uh -huh. And understanding man. Okay. Well, good luck. Are you sure? Mm hmm. I'm sure. Good luck. Goodbye. I will never stay away from. I will never stay away forever. I'm really sorry for everything. Are you sure you want this? <laughs> and I promise you that I will do everything within my powers to make you happy. That's how everything went, Jerry. You know, I told you now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm waiting for Nelson. Yeah, I said he'd be on his way anyway. Oh, talk about the angel. <laughs> He's here. Hi, boo. Hi. Yeah. We share this love that's never died. 
We share this bond that will never go away. Oh, my word. When I am down, you are my strength. When I am sad, oh, you cheer me up. Oh, my child. We've been through thick and thin. We've been through ups and downs. We've been through dark and light. Forever with me, oh, forever I'm yours, forever you're mine. I will never stay away from you. Never stay away. Forever I'm yours, forever you're mine. I will never stay away from you. Good morning. Good morning, my love. I hope you, you had a nice night. Yes, I did. Okay, let's start going now. <laughs> Call first. Um. Um, who is he? Who is who? The person you're constantly on phone with that makes you happy. Isn't he man? Z, stop! <laughs> Jeez, you're so nosy. Come on, promise to tell me everything, remember? Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Fine, I will tell you everything, but mm -hmm. I'm running late to work, and you are obviously running late to school. So why don't you do it like this? When I come back home in the evening, we'll talk about it. The deal? Deal. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's you know, go. I always tell you everything. Yes, <laughs> well, but you're not so... everything. I mean, you're nosy. I'm not nosy. Were well, you is dropping off my conversation? No, I wasn't. Yeah, Jojo, the penchant for gossip will never change. Uh uh, you're pregnant. You should be catching some rest. You don't have to remind me. I know I am carrying a baby in my tummy. Give me a break. Go just give me the gist. What's happening? Tell me the whole That's gist. That's like just. My dear, it's going really well. I mean, if I knew, I would have accepted Nelson since so. Nelson is a good man. Come on, but I told you, didn't I? I said this. Yeah, I know you told me, but why, how am I supposed to know? Am I God? Hmm? <laughs> Listen, girlfriend, he has awakened all the butterflies in my tummy. I mean, it makes me feel special. It makes me feel like a baby. Um. Seriously, madly in love with him. I go love. <laughs> Anyways, thank God, thank God. You know, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. All of this is happening. Like I just pray this continues this way, cause you know. Amen, amen. And thank you for advising me. I'm grateful. Get out. Get out. Well, um, babes, I have to leave you now because my husband is on the line. Let me talk to my own man. Oh, duh. Let me talk to my own man, too. I'm a cop now, saying, too. <laughs> All right, dear. Bye. I am uh, looking for Miss Olivia. Oh, Miss Olivia. Yes. Oh, a second, please. All right. Mom! Yes, baby? Uh, I think you have a visitor. Oh, I'm coming. Yes. Oh, she said she's coming. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hi, Nelson. Yeah. Hi. I, I just 
want it to surprise you. Yeah, what a surprise. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, can we, you know, just go inside and have a proper introduction, please? Yes. Sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You know, since I've not introduced myself, I'd like to introduce myself. Okay. Um, my name is Z Chizitelo. Zitel or Zizi for short. That's what mom calls me. And you? Well, I am Nelson. Ooh, Nelson. Ooh, that's a cute name for a cute person. Thank you. <laughs> hmm, you must be the fiancé mom was talking about. Wow, she told you already. Yes, she told me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yes, I am he. I hope I'm welcome. Oh, yes, as far as you don't break her heart. Mom is a very strong woman and she's my icon. But the heart is very fragile. So please, take good care of her. And you'll definitely enjoy her. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And you... You are very smart. Oh. How old are you again? Uh, 12 plus. You know, age is just a number. <laughs> you are way too smart for your age. Hey. Oh. Hi. I can see you guys are getting along, huh? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, you're... You have the most... Intelligent kid I have ever met. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I deserve some accolades. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. Okay, okay, All right, so do you want to do this? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you for the honor. Ah. <laughs> uh, I just want to know if you've gotten home. Nelson. I've not been able to reach him. He's not picking. I want to find out if he has gotten to the apartment. I don't know. Of course he should be okay. Mom, you worry too much. I'm sure he's fine. Maybe he's in a business meeting or you know, something. Don't worry. He'll call you back. Hmm? Are you sure? I'm sure. Um, I said let me check up on you. You're such a darling. Mm, oh, you too, man. Love you. <laughs> I love you too, my baby. I love you. Don't worry too much. Mm, I love you. Mm. Mm -hmm. You pay me. <laughs> okay. Take care of yourself. Mm? Alright, thank you. Sleep early. You act like an old woman. Come on. I'm not an old woman. You act like, like my mommy. <laughs> we share this love that's never died. We share this bond that will never go away. Oh my word. I don't understand you. What in God's name are you talking about? You told me that girl is not your daughter. But I was at your home. I looked at the pictures. 
everything look, you will look the same. <laughs> she literally took after you in her boldness, expressiveness, her smartness. It's like you literally vomited yourself. And you look me in the eye and lie to me that she's not your daughter? Can you just calm down and let me explain? What are you explaining? So that you can fill my ear with more lies? Listen, I, I want us to do this. I really do. And I have been genuine and truthful to you in everything I say to you. I just want the same. Is that too much to ask? Can you just... Please, hear me out. <laughs> Olivia, I love you. And I want this thing to work. But if we have to make it work, it has to be between you and I. No baggages. I don't want to raise another man's child. Honestly, I do not want that. And I do not want my children having issues with anyone in the name of stepsister or brother. I don't want that. If you claim she's not your daughter, then take her back to where she's coming from. And if you're still insisting that she's your daughter, then let her go back to her father. I want my sanity in this relationship. I... I hate to do this, but if we have to go on with this marriage thing, you'll have to choose. Yes, you'll have to choose between me, this marriage, or your daughter? We share this love that's never die. We share this bond that's never go away. Oh my word. When I am down, you're my strength When I am sad Oh, you cheer me up Oh, my child We've been through thick and thin We've been through ups and downs We've been through dark and light Oh, you're forever with me oh, Forever I'm yours Forever you're mine Stay away from never you. Stay away. Forever I'm yours. Forever you're mine. I will never stay away from you. Oh no, I'll never go away. That there is no greater love than that of a mother and a child. I will give up the world just to see you smile. Cause your smile brightens my day. You mean the world to me. Cause even with your last breath. You still call me mommy
house. Cover yourself, not with this obscene view. You talk to me about obscenity. Don't worry. Your days in this house are numbered. You watch it. I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay, what if mom's business partners are here or my classmates? Don't think about it now. It's no good. It's no good at all. I don't have time to fret words with you. Get out. Step up. Get out of my way, my Talk to him, okay? You better do, Mom. How can a grown man be living like that? No, what if you have a, a visitor or my classmates? Eh? If he can't keep the house clean, then he should go. Baby, it's okay. I promise you I will handle it, okay? So have you had something to eat? How can I when everywhere is messed up? And there's no food. There's no food? I thought I made... You know what, it's okay. Let me fix you something to eat, okay? What is going on? I don't understand. What exactly is going on? Nothing. can you calm down? Can you please try and be understanding? She's just a little girl. Little girl? She insulted me. She has been disrespecting me. And you said I should calm down? I knew this was going to happen and I told you about it. What did you say? Oh, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Apparently, you're doing nothing about it. The man you're in a relationship with is alone because of... I don't want this. You need to fix this. Nelson, please. Can you stop all this? Huh? Why are you directing this elsewhere? I'm directing this elsewhere? Right? I know exactly what to do. You know, I knew this was going to happen and I have been trying my best to avoid this, but apparently, it's fine. I knew what to do. Babe, you just... No time. Babe, can you just listen to me? What? This is so unbelievable. You mean Nelson said that? My dear, I'm as surprised as you are. I've been trying to make things work out so that we can be on the same page. But the more I try, the more he makes things difficult for me. I'm so sorry. Do you want me to talk to him? No. No, I know Nelson. You get upset that I'm discussing him with people. And who is the people? Is it me you're referring to as people? Don't worry. I'll handle him. It's just a matter of time. So tell me, how is your husband? Hmm. My sister, that's actually good news. He called me yesterday and said he wants me to come over next week. No way. Yes. <laughs> wow. Finally, you get to spend time with your husband. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Are you sure? I know it.
Move it, boss. Move it. Let's go. Ball. And the safety gives the home team the game's first order. Inside of three minutes. I don't like the cartoon. Do you ever do as you're told? If you want to save your mother, do it! You have to do it. This will make you a glorious Viking forevermore. <laughs> oh my god, I had fun. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you should just go to bed. Mm. Yeah. I'll go to bed and I'm going to go to the witches. She will carry me. Yeah, <laughs> carry me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. I need to carry you. If I carry you. <laughs> I'm not ready to die. Yeah. No way. I so, don't. you're going to bed. Yeah. You feel my such your feet, in my head, and everything. Okay. What? I'm gonna I want you to go to bed. But you want to go to bed? No. Let's go. No, no, Let's no, go. no, no. I think I'm a bit pressed. No, I don't want to do it. No, I'm pressed. No. Don't you want some? I'm mm full -mm -mm. this one. <laughs> That's nice. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine. Z. Come here. You didn't greet Uncle Nelson. Why? No. That's rude. I don't need your greeting for anything. You can just keep it. No. I'm not training her to be disrespectful. <laughs> Z, you know what to do. Oh, good afternoon. Happy now. I'm tired. Z. Now this is the dis disrespect I'm talking about. Please to leave. I already told you I'm working. I'm, I'm working on it. Don't worry. I promise you, everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine when she leaves this place and we have our privacy. That's when everything will be fine. Babe, can you just can you just stop it? Don't let this spoil the moment, please. Can you just eat your food, okay? Baby, you're not eating now. I'm eating. I'm eating, okay? Like that. Um, I'm sorry, Mom. 
Don't repeat that again, okay? Um, I'm sorry. Um, Mom, can I talk to you now? Now? Can't you see that she's busy? You want her to just stand up and follow you so that you can talk to her? Can't you wait till she comes out and, you, and then you can talk to her? This is what I'm saying. She doesn't have respect. Um, baby, can you just go out? I'll, I'll come meet you. Hey, baby, can you just go outside? I'll come join you later, okay? My friend, go out. Do you want me to come and force you out? Go out, my friend. No, no, my... Baby, just go, okay? I'll, I'll be with you. Baby, what? you need to calm down. That was too harsh. Why? She's just a kid. Who is it? on her. Who is a kid? This, this girl a kid? This girl will sell you and collect balance. In fact, this kid thing, that's the problem. You, mommy kid, baby, that's why she's the way she is. You are, you're, you're doing it too much. That's why she's misbehaving. That's why she doesn't have manners. That's, allow me to handle her. Allow me to put her in a place where no, she will no, learn. No, 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 don't, 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 don't handle her. I'll handle her myself, okay? That's okay? Um, so, where were we? Hmm? I was about to spend some money. Mm -hmm. So let's see. What shall we do it? Which one? Okay. Listen, you, you need to let, let me take Baby, care of this before it becomes a problem. Stop it already. Calm down. I'll take care of it, okay? I'll talk to her. All right. Okay, so let's look at the shoes again. The shoes and the bag. This color, which one do you prefer? Baby, now. Whatever color you prefer is fine. Babe. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> what kind of smile is this? Just smile. <laughs> okay, look. I like this pink one. And, uh, Mom, can you try and understand what I'm saying? Sissy, can you just let this slide? Please. Mom, what's wrong? This man is turning you into something else. And you're not seeing it. Sissy, can you stop it? You know what? Just go inside the kitchen and do the dishes. This is beyond your age, okay? I'll go wash the dishes. But I can't hide the truth anymore. You skip work. These days, you come back home late with this man drenched in alcohol. You hardly work with your computer. Mom, what's going on? This is not what you taught me. This is not the man that you explained to me that you want to be with. What's wrong? No. This man cannot be my stepfather. Sissy, can you stop it? What do you know? Listen, come here. Come sit down here. Come. Come. Listen, I am your mom. I know more than you do. So when I ask you to let it slide, you have to listen. And can you please stop disrespecting me or Nelson? I want you to focus on your studies, okay? Okay? Now, Go to the kitchen and do the dishes. You see what I'm talking about? Oh my word, what I 
am down, you are my strength. When I am sad, oh, you cheer me up. Oh, my child. We've been through thick and thin. We've been through ups and downs. We've been through dark and light. Will you forever with me? Oh, forever I'm yours. Forever you're mine. I will never stay away from you. Never stay away. Forever I'm yours. Forever you're mine. I will never stay away from you. Oh no, I'll never go away. You made me believe that there is no greater love than that of a mother and a child. I will give up the world just to see you smile, cause your smile brightens my day. You mean the world to me. I hope you're not trying to leave this place like this. Come on, this is not fair. There's a dining table where you insisted on using this place. Man, stop! Are you talking to me, you disuntrained and disrespectful child? If you think this is messed up, why don't you clean it up? Or are you bigger than doing house chores? Are your mates not doing housemates in someone else's house? Nitwit. Don't call me that name in my mother's house. I did not insult you. So please, don't insult me. And if I insult you, what would you do? Nitwit. Nitwit, nitwit. What would you do? I know where you came from. You were picked from the gutter. I'm going to make sure you go back to the gutter where you're coming from, you nitwit. You are the nitwit. What did you say? You are the nitwit. <laughs> I love this, you. Nelson told me what happened. Ozzy, mm. I warned you, didn't I? I warned you to leave Nelson alone. Stay away from him. You need to stop insulting him. He's not your mate. Eh? Now look at. Let me see. Oh. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. We'll see the doctor tomorrow, okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. 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 See, I'll talk to him. I know you overreacted. I, 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 I will talk Olivia! to him. Olivia! Babe? Yes, I'm coming. I will give up the world. It's okay, stop crying. Okay, my name Just to see crying. you smile. Let me, let me go and meet Olivia! You. I'm coming! Ah! Oh. Baby, I'm, I'm coming. You mean the world to me. Because oh. even with your last breath, you still call me mommy. I'm serious about this. 
I cannot continue staying here with a girl who has no respect. Because I might be tempted one day to just disfigure her. She needs to leave. Leave to where? She needs to leave. So to where? Why do you expect her to leave? Why do you expect her to go? I told you I'm working something out. That's exactly what you've been saying. You're working something out and there's nothing. Nothing. Is there something you're not telling me? Okay, I'm listening. I, I really want to hear you. What, what are you not telling me? Are you serious? Can you just calm down? It's not as easy as you think. Fine, I love her. Yes, I want our privacy. I want our space. But guess what? I love her too because she's my daughter. Oh, you... You love her. She's your... She's your daughter now. Yeah? She's... Zitel! Zitel! Come back, she has gone to her room. Oh. Oh, bim, bim. Okay, okay. What is... Come. Going to be okay. Um, we have stabilized her, so just allow her to get a proper rest. Mm, don't disturb her. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if I forget, um, have you been able to get anything about her identity? Nothing at all. There was nothing with her. No. Mm. Okay. I will allow you to watch over her. Till she works, then I'll be back maybe. Sorry, I was going to tell you. You should have. Olivia, I love you. I love you and I... I am willing to accept anything from you. But keeping secrets, keeping a deadly secret like this is it's not, it's not something. Is that something I want to deal with? Honestly, I was gonna tell you. Nelson, I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to start. I'm sorry. Nelson. You. I love you so much. Love is not enough. We are going to be married as husband and wife. Why all the secrets? It is unhealthy. He should be able to know each other. You, you know, it, it's it's uh, <clears throat> your daughter. I have not seen her since. I don't know where she has gone to. Honestly, I don't care. 
Let me make us breakfast. Maybe after then you will be willing to open up to me. That there is no greater love than that of a mother and a child. I will give up the world just to see you smile. Cause your smile brightens my day. You mean the world to me. Cause even with your last breath. You still call me mommy. Get your mommy for you. Just get get better. Can you hear me? Hello. Doctor. Hello. Doctor. Please. Nelson, please don't leave me. We can talk this through, please. Nelson, I'm not dying. But I am dying. Okay, I... I have tried. But I'm scared. I'm scared not even for me, but... for our future. Our kids, if we continue this, 
one of our kids might just inherit this ailment and it would not be good. No. So please let me go. I've given up a lot for you. For us. I don't even know where my child is because of you. Nothing. You promised me. You promised you were going to stand by me through thick and thin. Please. You made me believe in love again. And now you want to leave me. Is this how you want to end my life? I cannot end your life. I am not God. But you see, since this relationship started, I have given everything I can, everything, just to make you happy. I did all of that just to ensure a smooth relationship. But what do I get? Constant lies and secrets and I am tired. I can't. I can't do this anymore. Please don't make it more difficult than it already is. Just uh, step aside, let me go. Please. So what do you think about this mm, one? No, I don't like it. No? It okay. has a punch as well. Okay. What about this jumpsuit? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't like it. <sighs> Another one. Mm. This one? No, that one is too like which one do you want? Which one? Which one? Ah, okay, let me pick See, look at the punches I was telling you about. I this one. I don't like it. And then I, this no, one. I don't like it. Talk about this one. Hmm. This one looks good. Yeah, okay. this one. This one will be better. You think so? Mm hmm. I think so. Because you like pink. Mm, I'm not a fan of pink. Pink Ooh. is not my favorite color. Really? Yes. I thought all ladies are supposed to like pink. And all not girls. all like that. Is that Oh yeah? Mom, do you know very soon I will start wearing your clothes? You better don't gain weight. And you have to mend that for you start wearing Of course, it. I'm going to mend it. Uh -huh, better. Yes. Because if you gain weight... Hmm. <laughs> so this is the one you want me to wear? Yes, I prefer this one. Well, it's fine. Okay. Well, hmm.
I'm so sorry about everything. Please, I promise you by morning, I'll take you to your mom, okay? I'm so she's worried about you. Thank you very much, ma. It's okay. Just relax and rest. If you need anything, let me know, right? Okay. I'm here. Thank you. Welcome. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? didn't know where to start from. I love you sincerely and I'm so empty without you. This condition is as a result of the constant abuse I went through in my past relationship. I know you're scared of the future. I understand but this is not hereditary. Please don't leave me this way. I love you so much, Nelson. This is my truth. And I need you to believe me. Please. Mom! 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 Olivia! You know her? Mom! Mom, wake up! Olivia! I, I know where to go. Please, help me watch her, okay? Olivia! <laughs> Olivia! Sister! 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 Uh, what is going on? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Please, let, let's take her to the I hospital. writing this to you because I know someday you would have access to this journal that contains mommy's little secret about my health, my life and your birth. I had plans to give it to you the day you tied the knot with a lovely man that deserves your good heart. Forgive me for keeping this away from you for so long, but it's for our own good. And I want you to be happy, okay? I am not your biological mother. But I know someday she'll come for you. I pray you forgive her. And then we can all reunite as a family. Any day she comes around. I have forgiven her before deciding to make you my own. My kid sister, Amanda, is your biological mother. Please, accept her when she comes looking for you, okay? Sister. Sister, please, I want to tell you something. 
What do you want to tell me? You've been saying you want to tell me something since. Talk, I'm listening. Are you okay? What's going on? Talk to me now. Say talk now. What's your problem? I'm pregnant. You are what? I'm pregnant. You are pregnant? How? When? You are serious? Who is responsible? Wait, I don't... Amanda! After, after everything I went through with my ex-husband, what I told you about men, you, you still went ahead to... Do you know what I went through? And how I have been suffering myself to make sure we, we get a better life. So this is how you want to repay me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Why are you sorry? Just once. What, what do you mean just once? Does he have to... Did you have to do it plenty of times before you get pregnant? So now tell me who is responsible? Who, who is he? I swear if you don't answer me now, you don't, don't just even get me upset. Better stop, start talking. Who is he? Why would you want to abort the baby? Hmm? Why? I thought you said the guy responsible is your boyfriend. So why would he want to allow you to endanger your life? He's nowhere to be found. I've searched for him everywhere. It's like he just vanished into thin air. Nobody seems to know him or know his whereabouts. Okay, so you don't know where he's from? His family, parents, something, nothing? We met two months ago, and I've never met his parents or visited him at home. Ah. Hey. <laughs> eh? So you are indirectly dating a ghost? Because I don't know why you'll be dating somebody and you don't know his house address. You don't know. I don't get. I don't understand. So now you just want to abort the baby, eh? You, you, you don't even know if this child you're carrying will wipe away our tears, will be our savior in the future. You don't know. Please, I beg you in the name of whatever you hold dearly, do not abort this child. Don't! You know what? Leave the child for me. I would, I would, I would carry the child. I would train the child. Just make sure you don't abort the child, please. <laughs> Sister, but you're taking care of me already. Don't worry. Just don't worry. This is this is our cross. We will carry it. Since the person responsible is nowhere to be found, we will carry it. I will carry the child. Just don't don't abort don't abort the baby, please. I beg you. It's fine, please stop crying. The deal has been done. It's okay. You give birth, please. It's 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 okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please, I don't want to lose my sister. Please, you know you are all I have. Okay, please, don't go and abort any child. I beg you, please. It's okay. Don't worry. I will take care of the child. Okay. She left you with me because she still bears the shame. She thought I'm still disappointed in her fulfilling her dream of being somebody useful in life. She told me she's leaving to make me proud. I never wanted her to go, but she made a choice. Because I promised to take care of you. 
we got to talk with each other till today and you are the best gift God has given me to tell. I love you always and pray someday your mother will come back to us. I miss her so much but we have to be strong for ourselves. Please, whether I'm there or not, I need you to forgive your mom because I know someday she will come looking for you. I love you always, Zizi. So, you're my biological mother. Yes. Yes, I am. Baby, I'm so sorry. Please, I never abandoned you. I was ashamed of myself. Yes. I was ashamed. And, and my sister, she was so disappointed in me. And I just wanted to make her proud. So I left. What kept me all these years was the thought that I was coming back to be reunited with you once again. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I never abandoned you. Please, just forgive me, please. please. You're wicked. And you'd not even bother to look for us. How could you? I did. When I came back, I searched everywhere. I'm looking for my sister. I went to our old place. I could not find her. Nobody seems to know where she went to. I was in jail. Yes, when I got abroad, I got jailed. Because I got mixed up with some bad friends. And I've been struggling since. When I got out last year, I had to take all sorts of media jobs so that I could afford ticket to come back home to you. And my sister, please baby, forgive me. I need you to know that I never abandoned you. Please. 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 Sit down. Sit down. <laughs>
I'm so happy God gave us another chance. <laughs> I'm not sure I would have survived. It's okay. I'm glad I didn't leave it out. And I'm grateful to God about that. You know, the doctor told me about everything. How I woke up after they confirmed me dead. He said I was just screaming your name. Zitel, Zitel. I'm happy. I'm sure God gave me a second chance for a reason. I'm sure you wanted me to, to see this day. I'm happy that I didn't die and I'm here for my baby. And I promise you, I will never leave you, no matter what. Okay? It's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. It's okay. Mommy is here, okay? You don't need to cry, okay? I'm not going anywhere, okay? Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Sister, once again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I put you through. And I'm grateful to God. I'm grateful to God for giving you back to us. I seriously don't know how my life would be without you. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you for all you do for me. And thank you for paying for my management courses. <laughs> I'm grateful. Thank you. Zita's father reached out to me. He said he has been trying to reach me all these years. He has been begging, sis. And I had to open up to him about her. So he's married now in the UK. He promised to come back next month to see his daughter. out from this this bundle of joy Zitel you're a gift you're a bundle of joy and I was stupid just just fighting you trying to frustrate you it, it was wrong of me should have been a bit matured and know that you're nothing but special gift regardless I am sorry instead of trying to frustrate you I should have learned from you how to be a stepfather to you because you are smart you're intelligent you you're expressive you see things the way they are you see things beyond your age and it should be appreciated there was this friend of mine that I went visiting some time ago and he just got divorced and the stories of him, the involvement of the stepdaughter and everything just fear gripped me when I saw you. I was just thinking I was going to have the same experience instead of exploring the great chance I had with you. I was just messing it up with stupidity and fears and pettiness. I'm so sorry. 
I didn't mean all that. I was just scared. And, and you can blame me for that. I take full responsibility. Olivia. I ran. Yes, I ran because... Honestly, I couldn't handle it. The fear of one of our kids in the future being... Having the ailment, it was something I couldn't, I couldn't deal with. But that was stupid of me. Regardless, I should have stayed. But then again, when I saw your message, <laughs> yes, just like scared dog with his tail in between the legs, I ran back. Because I discovered that wherever I go, however I try to run away from you, fate still brings us together. Same thing with you. Whenever you try running away from me, fate still brings us together. <laughs> Seems like we are fated lovers. And never again will I run away from you. Never again, no matter what. I am here to stay. And I love you, I love you so much. I don't even know what I would do without you. Zitel, I know your mom, your real mother is here now, but I still want to be a big part of your life. Please. Forever with me, oh, 